Hi, everyone. I'm out of here. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Have some water and a towel available or a blanket. And tonight we're going to use hand towels. If you have one, grab one. Um, we're going to use it for some stretching, some core work. Um, if you're on carpet, you might need carpet slides, but you don't really need either one. It's just um, a little extra to add to our fun tonight. <laughs> and grab a little drink. It's been a heck of a day. Got in an accident, but everyone was okay, thank God. So, uh, that's never fun. So it's a good time to relax, that's for sure. Okay, it is seven, so we'll get started. Um, let's start with a little bit of breath work, standing. So we are at the front of your mat. I'm sorry, I will turn this off now. We're at the front of your mat, and let's just to take your shoulders up to your ears and back. So just make small circles here. Now we're gonna start to make the circles a little bigger. And a little bigger until they're up by your ears. Sometimes when you start with those little circles, it helps with all the cracking and rolling that you can hear inside of those joints when you roll. All right, so let's now take your shoulders to your ears and then we're gonna pull them down your back and open your chest. So you can take your arms back, really open up and then take your chin down to your chest as you're opening the chest. Good. Now you can interlace the fingers behind you or take the towel if you're not able to grab the fingers. Take your feet hip width apart. We're going to start to drop your chest forward, lifting the towel or the hands up to the ceiling, or you can press them to the back either way. Allow your head to relax here and keep those shoulders away from your ears. Stretch more through your chest and let's just Rock those arms from the right to the left, just a little. It doesn't have to be a big movement here. Good. Now let's push the towel to the back as we stand. Release the towel and we're gonna take it over your head. Let's work on our breath work. Every time we inhale, we're gonna expand the belly. So take the towel. Expand, inhale, bring the towel over your head. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, that nice big space there. Exhale, we're gonna take the towel forward and hollow out in our stomach. The shoulders are still relaxed. Inhale, lift up. Maybe take a slight back bend, have that heavy tailbone, and then come back down, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Now with the towel above your head, I'm gonna face you, but you can definitely stay at the front of your mat if you can see me and you're comfortable there. Our feet are still hip width apart. We're gonna take and stretch through each side. So let's exhale on the side. And then when we're in the middle, we're inhaling. So inhale here, take an exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, inhale. All right, feet are together. The towel is in the front. We're gonna slightly bend your knees here, twist from the torso. So here on the side, we're exhaling. In the middle, we're inhaling, we're exhaling on the side. And so again, Expand that belly as you inhale, exhale, and take a nice twist. Inhale here, exhale, take a nice twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Now let's do it one more time. Inhale in the front, exhale on the side. When we're here, we're gonna have you just lift that towel over your head, take it down, back to the front. Let's inhale, take it to the side, twist through that thoracic spine, reach up high, shoulders are down, lower it. Inhale, <clears throat> exhale. Inhale, one more time on this side, and exhale. How do those feel? Good job. Okay, let's roll those shoulders a little bit. Now, let's take a seat on the mat and roll back so that we're laying in a supine, supine position. We're gonna use your towel to stretch your legs. Straightening the left leg out, let's flex the toes up to the ceiling and take the towel and just wrap it around the ball of your foot. Not so much your arch. I mean, if the towel is all the way across your foot, that's okay. We're gonna start to straighten the leg. You can't get it all the way up there, that's okay. You can also use a longer towel if that feels better for you. If you have a yoga strap, definitely use that. If you have a band, you could use that too. All right, now your toes of the leg that you're stretching are flexed down toward you. And notice how I have a slight bend in my knee. You can keep that bend. And if this is enough stretch for you, just keep it there. Now, if you can straighten that leg, definitely straighten it. We're gonna take the towel in the right hand. So it's wrapped around your right foot right now. We're gonna allow that leg to fall to the side. The foot is still flexed. You should feel a nice big stretch through that abductor inner thigh muscle of the right leg. We're gonna to try to get into our crow pose today. And crow is one of my favorite poses. It is more of a, an intermediate pose but it's pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna take that right leg across the body and over to the other side. You're gonna pull that leg up toward you, keep that foot flexed, stretch right through the hip here. And if you want to have a little more out of that stretch and take the right arm back and take your gaze toward that right arm. Good. Remember those deep breaths we took at the beginning of class. We're taking those now. Nice controlled breaths. Now let's bend the knee and roll on our back. Release the towel from the right foot. And we're going to place it around the left. So see, you don't even need any fancy, Fancy equipment, you can use a towel out of your closet and stretch. All right, the right leg is straight out, the left leg is up and we're pulling that leg toward us, the foot is flexed. Breathe through that stretch here. Good. Let's keep it up there just for another breath. Maybe even pull in a little more so you can feel that muscle really stretching. You don't want to feel pain though, of course. All right, let's grab that towel with your left hand and allow the left leg to fall to the side. Still gonna to move toward you a bit. All right, there we go. It's okay if that leg doesn't come all the way down. Mine definitely doesn't. But you should feel a nice stretch through your inner thigh of your left leg, so the inside top portion of that left leg. Good, breathe through the stretch. You're doing wonderful. Let's switch. Right hand grabs the top, left arm goes back, and the right leg cross or the left leg crosses the body to the right side. Take your gaze back toward that left hand. And pull the leg a little closer to you. Might be hard to breathe here. Just take nice steady breaths. And if you wanted to, you could back the stretch off if it's too much. 
and then come back to it when you're ready. Don't have to hold it for the full 30 seconds, but if you can, that's great. Good, okay, let's release. And let's place both feet in that hand towel. This is gonna be a little harder if you have a small towel and you can't get your arms up there. That's okay. If you have a smaller towel and your arms didn't reach, I want you to bend your knees, then tuck your chin to your chest and try to straighten the legs and pull them back and then take a little rest. So come down and bend the knees. If your towel reaches and you'd like to just keep the stretch there, keep it there, keep the toes flexed down. You can also add a little bit of that core element with your chin tucked in if you wanna to try to hold it there. And do that. Many, many options here. Now we're gonna to start to bend the knees and allow them to fall to the sides. We're looking more at like a butterfly pose here. So wrap the towel around both feet and pull the feet toward you. At the same time, your elbows are on the inside of your knees and you're pressing outward. So imagine you were sitting in butterfly on the floor. That's what this looks like too. But you can get a little deeper into it. Now, once you're in that position, let's rock gently from the right to the left. Good, just get a little massage in your back here. And maybe pull the towel in just a little more. Push the elbows out. All right, let's release. We can take the towel off. Full body stretch, the towel is overhead and the legs are out, let's point the toes. Reach as tall as you can. Think about separating those vertebrae. Good. Now keeping the towel up, we're gonna tuck the chin in and roll up to a seated position. Take the towel above your head. All right, wonderful job. How are you all feeling out there? I hope good. <clears throat> We're gonna take the feet out and the toes are flexed back. We do not need the towel right now. Arms are out in front. So we're in that zombie position. Relax your shoulders. Good. Put a nice long spine here. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. So just let them melt down your back. And if this feels weird for you to sit in this position or you know that you're sitting like this with a round in your lower back. Grab a thick blanket and put it under your hip, hips. So it'll prop you up. You'll be able to sit a little taller here. So what I want you to do is take your arms over your head. Reach up, same thing, nice tall spine. Now, as we take it forward this time, I want you to lean back, but you want a nice long spine here with your abs nice and tight. Then we're lifting up and the arms come up by your ears. Relax the shoulders. Good. Settle back. We're exhaling here. Inhaling on the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now this last one, a little more of a challenge. Exhale. We're leaning back. Inhale, arms by your ears. Good, lift up. Arms to the front. Let's drop back. Arms by the ears, lift up. Arms in the front, lean back. Arms by the ears, lift up. Good, I hope your abs are definitely feeling that. And let's come up to hands and knees. So hands on the shoulders, knees are under your hips, and we're starting to make some circles here. So we're gonna go in one direction and the other direction. Whatever feels good here, just take it. And kind of try to work through the wrists, work through the hips a little, squeeze the belly in. Work on that long neutral spine so you don't want to be too rounded, too arched. Nice and neutral here. 
Now let's take the fingertips and point them outward. I'm going to do the same with the circles in your body. So circle in one direction, circle in the other direction. Good, work through the wrists. Rocking. Forward and back motion. Now let's start to crawl the fingers back toward us a little. This is a very hard position to be in. You can try those circles. They might not be as big. That's okay. Just take it small. If it's enough for you to just stay in this position with your hands, that's okay too. Just try to get the fingertips as far back as you can toward the feet. We're here. Good. If you can circle, circle. Make the circle smaller or just hold that nice stretch. Good, good, good. Rock forward and back, side to side. Awesome job. All right, let's release. Now the left hand will stay on your mat. We're going to take your right hand, press the top of the hand into the mat, spread the fingers. Still working on that neutral spine, so not too rounded, not too arched. And place the right hand down. The top of the left hand will gently push into the mat now. Good, good, good. Wonderful job. Now let's go into our downward dog. From here, we're gonna bend the knees and straighten. As you straighten, pushing the heels down, the ears are in line with the arms. Up, down. You do not have to lower those knees all the way down to the mat. Just wanna get some flexibility through your toes right now. <clears throat> Warm up those toes, the arches of your feet, your Achilles as you push down. Keep breathing. So you can exhale on the way back. Inhale as you come down. Still thinking about that long spine. Now, if you have a chair and you'd like to use it for this, you can definitely hold on to the back of the chair or the front of the chair, depending on how flexible you are. We're going to walk the feet outward. So mine are a little wider than my mat. You can take yours wherever you want to. We're going to walk the hands back, but bend the knees at the same time. So you're going to kind of settle back like you're sitting at a stool here. Long spine still, and then walk forward. You might have to take your feet out a little wider. You may have to have your hands high on a chair. Either way, we're gonna walk back again. Just make adjustments as you need to. Good, we're sitting back, walking forward. And walk back. Nice. And walking forward. If you need those blocks under your hands when you get there, you can hold on to blocks. Now this time, we're going to pull the feet in just a little more. Now your toes are facing out, your heels are in, facing inward. So my feet are right on the edges of my mat. So either edge, I'm gonna walk back. As I bend this time, you're gonna lift the heels up in the air, pushing the knees out, sitting back in that imaginary stool, walking back out. Just go to your range of motion here. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. If you walk back and you can get to here, that's all I want you to get to. Good. So this is a downward dog with your toes facing outward. And we're going to walk back. And lift the heels and settle in that position there. Wonderful. Crawl it back out. Each time you may be able to get a little lower. And back to your downward dog, walking back. Let's lift the heels. 
settling in that spot here. Now, if you're comfortable here, I want you to rock back and forth. We're only rocking as far as maybe an inch or two to each side. If you're not comfortable here, just keep crawling forward and back. This might be a little too much flexibility for you and that's okay. Let's leave the hands down on the mat. We're gonna straighten the legs with the toes out and the heels in. Relax your head now. We are in a forward fold. We're gonna take the hands behind the ankles or the shins and allow the head to come down a little closer to the body. My knees are slightly bent. Good, hands come down. Let's roll up to the top. Take it nice and slow. Keep your chin close. We're inhaling. Good. Exhale. As you exhale, we're gonna come down to that seat. So your toes are out, heels are in. Let's bring the heels up. And if you can drop the heels down from this position, you can sit, settle right there. Maybe rock back and forth. Hey, if you have your chair, you're up a little higher, totally fine. From there, I'm gonna drop the head again, straighten the legs and roll up. Inhale here. Good, exhale, let's fall forward and face the toes forward, the heels back, crawl out to downward dog. And let's take your right foot through. So the right foot comes through. We're gonna pause right here. Get that nice low lunge. And place your hands on the chair if you need it. And let's replace the right with the left and the right foot goes back in our lunge and we pulse. Wonderful. We're getting closer to our crow pose. If you like crow like I do, you're very excited. <laughs> I love crow. And let's bring that right foot to meet the left. Hinge from the hips. Let's lift up and inhale. Hands placed on the heart. Let's take a few breaths here. We're pressing all 10 toes into the mat, squeezing the muscles in your legs, your glutes, your abdominals, and relaxing the muscles in your jaw in your face, in your neck. Shoulders are melting down the spine. Just a few breaths here. Good, let's inhale. Exhale, fold forward. We're taking our hands right in front of the feet. We're gonna take our left leg back first. So the right leg's in front. I want you to take both hands to the inside of the right foot and allow the left knee to drop to the mat. Remember, you can take any modifications here. If this is too much of a stretch, you are in that low lunge holding on to a chair. That is okay too. Now, you're gonna face me or face the opposite direction. We're gonna get our left hip close to the mat. You may have to come down to your elbow. And we're gonna open a little bit here in the hip. So we're allowing that knee to drop back a little bit. It's held pretty tight in that position. If you want to, when you get there, you can prop yourself up onto the hand, which I think is gonna to happen to me tonight. Let's crawl back. Mm, frame the right foot, take the left foot up, the right foot back, and we'll do the same on the other side. So let's drop the knee, the hands are on the inside of the left foot. Let's take that right hip and press it down toward the mat. The left knee is pressing outward. Oh yeah, I can tell I haven't done this stretch for a long time. How are you doing out there? Sure, you're all rock stars out there. Awesome. And let's release and frame the left foot back to your downward dog. Pedal here. 
Now we're gonna walk our feet forward. So we're on our tiptoes. I want you to crawl those feet in toward the hands. We're leaving the hands where they are. Throw up on our chair, you can tiptoe, keeping the hips up nice and high. Good. Keep those hips up. And now facing the toes out, the heels in. We're gonna lift the heels up, drop the knees so that they're on the outsides of the elbows, lifting up from here. Good. Now hands are flat on the mat again. Straighten the legs, the hips come up. The head is relaxed. We start to crawl the feet back into downward dog, but not dropping the heels yet. Good. Crawling back in. Trying to keep the hips up. I actually have to tent my fingers a little bit. If you don't have to, that's great. Face the toes out, the heels in, keep the heels up. Sit back in that imaginary stool. We move that imaginary stool up just a little here. Good. Lift up now. And crawl back. Crawl back to your downward dog with the heels in the air. Wonderful. Might need a little rest from that position. So let's come back with your toes touching, your knees out in child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Let's roll up and meet back in our downward dog. Maybe start to rock your hips a little bit. Press the heels down and lift them. We're gonna crawl those feet back to the hands and do something a little different here to get ready for that crow. Toes out, heels in. Now we're gonna allow the knees to rest on the elbows. So we're putting our hands flat on the mat, the heels are still up, if you need a blanket. So crow pose, ultimately, you are bouncing on your hands and lifting the feet up off of the mat. So in the balance, if you would like to at least try it, if you wanna put a thick blanket in front of you so you don't fall forward and hit your head on the mat, that's fine. If not, that's okay too. But I want you to get used to putting the weight onto the elbows. So we're going to just rock, rocking onto the elbows and back. So the outside of my elbows are on the inside of my knees. Good. Let's straighten up. We're going to roll up from this position. Inhale. How do you all feel in that position? It is a lot of upper body strength, a lot of core strength, but we're gonna try it today. <clears throat> you can also do this with pillows under you. The pillows definitely help too. But once you master this pose, you're gonna to wanna to do it all the time because it's pretty awesome. So let's inhale, exhale. We're gonna come down to that position. Rolling the feet out, the hands are on the mat. And if you can't get down like this, you're not ready for this kind of balance, just start to work more on planks. So be here, work on holding onto your planks, especially if your wrists are bothering you in that position or your knees are bothering you, your core can really help you. So in this position, just kind of make circles. You can put your knees down until you're ready to go for it. All right, for our balance, for our crow, my fingers are separated. I'm gonna crawl the feet up toward the hands. My toes are out, my heels are up. 
And as I rock forward, I'm lifting my left foot up and then my right foot up. So then I can kind of feel what it would feel like to have the weight of my body on my hands. And let's straighten the legs. Good, relax your head. Let's shake it back and forth. Let's roll up. Just take it nice and slow. Good, inhale here. And exhale, hands are at your heart. We ready to go for it? Let's go. Have your place all ready to go. If you need some pillows, whatever you need. Let's inhale, exhale, fly forward. Start to crawl the hands back toward the feet. Lock those elbows to the inside of the knees. And if this is enough for you, take the left foot off, take the right foot off. Or you can try both. Keep your abs in tight. If you're looking down at your mat. Come back down. Straighten the legs. Let's roll up. Woo! How'd you do out there? Did you do pretty good? I know you did. You are all rock stars. You can also still work with a chair and just work on getting a little lower in that position with the chair. It literally took me probably a year to get down there just to be able to do that. I had the strength in my upper body. I just didn't have the flexibility in my hips and my knees. So I couldn't get down there, but now I can. So just keep working on it. You can totally do it. Let's try it one more time. So inhale here, exhale, fly forward. I'm gonna take those hands. I'm actually gonna try it facing you this time. Bring your knees to the inside of those elbows. Spread your fingers. Get ready. All the balance in those hands. Squeeze your stomach. Good, how'd you do? <sighs> Wonderful job. Let's come to the front of our mat. We're inhaling here. Exhale, fly forward. You did a wonderful job. Let's take the left foot back and the right foot back. We're going to take a little rest. That pose is very demanding energy wise. Let's settle back to your heels. We're going to take a few breaths here and work on some core work with the towel or the carpet slides or nothing. It's just kind of fun to slide with them. Let's lift up. We're going to take the towel and place it right under your right foot. So what I'm going to do is move my water bottle out of the way. I'll fold my towel. So your elbows will be on the mat. Right foot is on the towel and we're going to kick the towel out to the side. Not even sure if you'll be able to see me. So I'm going to move back slightly here. Okay, so right foot on the towel. Elbows will be right under your shoulders. And you can take the other knee up off of the mat in an elbow plank, or you can lift it up. So we're here. Our body's nice and long. Our abs are tight. I'm going to take this leg and kick it out to the side. One. Two, we're trying to keep our body right where it is. Four, five, six, seven, and beautiful eight. Nice. Now you can take yours to the other side. I am going to switch this one so you can see the other side. Also, of course, you take your modification. If an elbow plank is enough for you and you want to work more on your 
core before you do this kind of motion or movement, that's cool too. All right, elbows under the shoulders. <clears throat> Ready? Bring it up. One, two, three. Try not to rock. Four, five, six, seven. Beautiful eight. All right, awesome. Settle back. Let's stretch. Deep breaths. All right, something else for core. I'm gonna move my mat. I know this isn't a very flowy class, but we're getting a lot of things in. So hands or elbows can be on the mat. Either way, we're gonna be in our plank position. We're gonna slide the towel under the right foot. Keep that spine long. Bring the knee into the chest. Just slide in. One, two, three, four, five. The other knee can be down. Six, seven, and an eight. Nice. Now let's place it under the left foot. Now keep in mind when you're pulling the, the foot in toward you and the knees coming to your chest, we're not lifting the hips. Just keep it all in the abs. Try to bring it straight forward. Ready? Other side. Pull it in. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Awesome. All right. How are those wrists doing? We're doing a lot of wrist work today. We'll go back on the elbows for these. The towel will be under your right foot again. As you bring the knee in, it's going to be focused to the outside of your right elbow. So I'm going to show you from this side, actually. So I'm going to use my left foot just so you can see. So down on the elbows and they're under your shoulders, your black back and your plank. You can bring that knee to the outside of the elbow. One, two, three. Four abs tight, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, and down. Good. Let's go to the other side. Got to even out here, especially with these. Ready? Let's go for it. Breathe. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, and an eight. All right doing a wonderful job today. Let's turn it around. We're going to place both hands on the towel. Knees will be on your mat, or you can put the carpet slides under your hands, or you can just walk back and forth with your hands. So we're going to slide out. Slide, 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 slide. Good. Then we're just pulling the towel back in. Coming up. So with the slide, it's very slow moving. As slow moving as it can be, if you feel like you're getting out of control, just take your hands off of the towel. You don't want to fall flat on your face. Keep a nice neutral tailbone so your abs are so tight to keep your back in a very safe position. Your glutes are tight too. So shoulders are back. Let's go for it. Roll out, 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 out. Good. All right, let's try one more. Out, 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 out. Squeeze. And we're good. Wonderful. Settle back. Child's pose is the best one for the stretch here. Toes touch, knees are out. Settle back. Let's lift the hips now. We're going to shoot the hands forward and the palms of your hands are going to face inward. We're either placing our forehead or our chin as close to the mat as we can with our hips up. Good. 
Good. Let's place our hands under our shoulders. And we'll do a few cat cows here. So let's start with the crown of your head. Drop open each vertebrae as you round to the bottom, press through the hands. Lift the head first, squeeze the shoulder blades all the way down. Good, back to the rounded position, protract the shoulders. And inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. Inhale. <clears throat> Back to that neutral spine. Let's have a seat on your mat. And if you still have your towel, which you probably do. If you don't, that's okay too. We'll try it without the towel. We're gonna do a little bit of shoulder mobility here. So you're taking your left hand over your head. Your right hand's gonna tuck underneath. You're gonna try to crawl the hands toward each other. So you have your towel, it looks like this. This one is here. The other one is crawling up. You're gonna pull so that the hands get a little closer together and you can open up the elbows. So open the chest here. You don't want to be rounded forward. See how close you can get the hands. <clears throat> Go ahead and do that. I can pop up on my computer. All right, let's release and we'll try it on the other side. So now the right hand is going overhead and the left hand is down below. I better start it in the right hand and crawl those hands toward each other. Open it up. Sometimes that's harder for people than crow. Let's release. We're going to roll back to our mat. So let's straighten the legs. Hands are out. Roll each vertebrae on the mat at a time. Point the toes. Take a full body stretch. Let's pull the elbows down so your arms are in a goal post. Your elbows are across from your shoulders. The fingers are flared. Palms are up. Pull the knees in. And let's crawl the feet to the outside of the mat and drop the knees to the right and the left. Maybe take a slight pause on each side and keep the shoulders down. I always like to exhale into the stretch. I feel like I can get a little more out of that stretch. Good. Let's release, bringing your knees to your chest and let's rock. You can circle. You can even add happy baby here, letting the knees fall to the side, grabbing the arches of the feet, pulling the feet down. If that's too much, you can grab the ankles. Just try to tuck the elbows to the inside of the legs. Good, that's good too. And place your hands under your tailbone. The legs are straight up. Let's allow the legs to come out so you can get a nice stretch again through the abductors, those inner thighs. Uh, 
come up, bend your knees. Let's straighten both legs out. We're gonna take both hands to the upper right-hand corner, both feet to the lower right-hand corner. Take the right hand on the left wrist and cross the left foot over the right. That's a very deep left side body stretch. It's our mermaid stretch on the mat. All right, let's release and take it on the other side. So everything's backwards here. It's the left top corner, left bottom corner, cross the right foot and grab the right wrist. Just gently pull over. You don't want any crazy stretch here. Right, let's release. And separate your feet and allow the toes to drop out. We did crow pose tonight. Awesome job, everybody. If you're still working on it, believe me, you'll get it. Let's take our palms up. Just start to relax our breathing. Just melt into your mat. Let's touch the thumb to every finger on the way to the pinky and on the way down. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Start to move your arms and legs. And if time allows, please rest and meditate for a little while longer. And let's press from our side to a seated position. Thank you for all trying Crow Pose tonight with me. You are amazing. Next week we'll have some more fun. So let's take an inhale and end by saying namaste. Wonderful job. If there's any fun you can think of that you'd want to have next week, let me know. Um, I can plan something around you for sure. I've been teaching long enough that I can almost do anything, even at the last second. So wonderful job today. I hope you like Crow and using the towel and that will give you some ideas of some things you can do on your own. And if you want to see past episodes, you just have to look up the GBU on YouTube and it's called Yoga with Michelle and you'll find the past episodes. We've done quite a bit so far. So wonderful job, everyone. You really worked on that core. You should feel that later. I'll see you next week. Thank you all so much. See ya. Oh, we had 10 tonight. That's wonderful. Upper body strength. Gotcha, Susan. Thanks for the workout. It was great. Good. Thank you, Diane. Awesome. I'm glad you loved it. Carolyn, you're welcome. Upper body strength next week. Yes, we can do that. Chris, you're very welcome. Thank you. Wonderful job, everybody. We had a nice big group tonight. Thanks, Carol. Thank you, Barb. You're very welcome. Always my pleasure. All right, I'll see you all next week. I look forward to it. See you then. Bye.